So while we spend uh, a large amount on BC Emergency Health Service, it's one of the largest uh, emergency health services in North America, one of the only province-wide systems in Canada. Uh, we are going to inject an additional $5 million uh, into the program to boost uh, paramedic response as a response to the crisis that we're dealing with. So what does that mean? Well, immediately we'll be implementing a number of strategies to boost ambulance resources and staffing in the coming weeks. And that includes pl placing stationary mobile, or sorry, medical support units in some high overdose locations. Uh, and at first that'll be in Vancouver and Surrey. Now these will act as resupply station for paramedics, as well as provide care information and triage to those using drugs. We know that our paramedics are highly trained and can provide some very, very good information uh, to people at risk. So that'll start in Vancouver and Surrey and uh, as needed in other areas as we monitor the situation. We'll also be deploying paramedic teams using more nimble modes of transportation such as bicycles and ATVs in high overdose areas in Vancouver and Surrey. You can imagine that getting down alleyways where overdoses might occur is difficult to do. So using more nimble means of transportation is uh, one of those strategies. We'll also be adding resources to the 911 dispatch center to better support paramedics being sent out on calls and uh, there'll be more supervisory support to paramedics and dispatches, uh, dispatchers with triaging, more efficient patient handover at hospitals so we can get these men and women back on the road more quickly to respond to those calls. We have put five million dollars into the Center for Substance Use, uh, Research and Addictions Training. We are opening 500 more uh, recovery uh, beds across the province and uh, I think all of these together will give us an opportunity to deal with this uh, incredibly complex and impactful crisis that's hitting uh, the province of British Columbia.